Hi, uh, Marina Magre from Case Western Reserve University, once again reporting for Room Now at ACR Convergence 2024. Great meeting so far and a lot of exciting data. And uh, today I attended, um, it was a session uh, for difficult to manage Excel Spa, which has been a very hot topic at this meeting. Uh, this session, uh, you know, Dr. Um, Dennis McGonigal from UK uh, did a very nice uh, discussion about difficult to manage uh, expa. And the take home message from that, what I got was what he mentioned was these patients that are difficult to manage, first thing one needs to know is go back to the drawing board and make sure that these patients have a right diagnosis because sometimes it may not be the right diagnosis and that's why these patients may not be responding to the therapeutics as we expect them to be. So, so maybe they don't have XPA, maybe they have degenerative arthritis or some other form of arthritis that needs to be taken into account. He also mentioned about some anecdotal reports of using a combination biologics in these patients. So uh, what he showed was that patients, you know, particularly those patients with psoriatic disease, there have been some reports uh, of using combination biologics like an IL-23 inhibitor along with the TNF inhibitor. However, it seems, you know, uh, to be determined uh, and we need uh, actual clinical trials to show the efficacy of these combination biologics in these patients. Thirdly, the point he emphasized was that these patients may have other reasons for being in pain and they may have central sensitization, other, uh, you know, other causes for pain, sleep deprivation. So these need to be thoroughly also looked into these patients and uh, make sure that those areas are also addressed when trying to manage these patients. So that was the take home message from that session. Another abstract that I liked today that was presented uh, was, it was an a poster actually, was uh, this group tried to look at, it was a French group, trying to look at the time to low disease activity in patients that have been previously treated with TNF inhibitors. And what that abstract showed us that those patients that were previously treated with TNF inhibitors, either one, two, or three, when they switched to another TNF inhibitor, it, the duration to reach low disease activity was longer. So the bio-naive patients took lesser time to reach low disease activity compared to those patients that were previously active, uh, treated with TNF inhibitors, whether they started a new TNF inhibitor or they started an IL-17A inhibitor. They also looked at the durability of, uh, you know, uh, low disease activity in these patients and they found that those patients that switched from a TNF inhibitor to IL-17 inhibitor, the durability of low disease activity was decreased. However, the durability of low disease activity was not decreased in those patients who were by a naive or switched from a TNF inhibitor to another TNF inhibitor. So the take home message from this abstract was that those patients who now show inadequate response to previous TNF inhibitors and when we are switching treatment to them I think it may be nice it may be advisable to let our patients know that it may take longer for them to reach the low uh, disease activity so they need to be more patient you know stay on the treatment rather than cycling treatments from one class to another it may be better to wait and give them more time till they attain, uh, attain low disease activity thank you so much